the city electrified tonight. You can imagine the security in a city this size. Of course, the Pope visiting those school children Terry mentioned in Harlem, holding this little girl's face in his hands. ABC Cecilia Vega in the middle of the crowds all day. It might be New York's park, but today it belonged to Pope Francis. The chosen ones had to have a ticket to get in. A city-sponsored lottery for New York residents. 80,000 people won. I was one of the lucky few. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Some of those tickets ending up on Craigslist scalped for $100 each. Flag, button. But today, the hottest selling items, just about anything with Pope Francis's face. He's the first Pope I feel that's been like really inclusive of everybody. So what does 80,000 people look like? This, a holy sea of the faithful. The lines to get in, snaking around Manhattan, stretching block after block after block. On some sidewalks, there are so many people you can barely even move down the street. People as far as you can possibly see. Security at fever pitch, teams of police officers, banks of metal detectors, an eight foot tall fence along the park. For Alisa Salgado and her family, just the chance to see Pope Francis makes it all totally worth it. Even just seeing him is just amazing. He's not the first Pope to take over Central Park, but this Pope, he's not like any other. It's truly an honor to have him here with us, and uh, especially now great, beautiful city, New York City. This has been a jam-packed trip for Pope Francis here in New York. He's only on the ground for less than 40 hours. Now he is off to his next stop, Philadelphia, his biggest event so far, mass for up to a million people. David? Cecilia, I'll be joining you there, and we'll have continuing coverage. We'll be anchoring this broadcast from Philadelphia this weekend, and, of course, much more on the Pope's trip to America tonight on Nightline and first thing in the morning on Good Morning America.